Every Monday here on ENCA Moneyline, we take a look at investing. This evening, we look at how to invest in money markets and the benefits of doing so. My guest for this discussion is Ian Ferguson from Net Group. Thank you so much, Ian, for your time uh, sure. today. Uh, in simple terms, what are money markets? Yeah, money market funds basically invest uh, instruments into all the banks and other instruments like corporate paper and parastatal paper. But there's, I mean, there are a lot of different money market funds in South Africa. If you look at the unit trust industry, there are probably 23 different money market funds yeah. offered by the usual asset management companies. And, and as I said, there are about 23 of them. Um, but effectively what we do is that we'll obviously place money with banks and other institutions and clearly the they pay as a yield for that. Yeah. So clients or investors looking to sweeten call accounts would look at money market funds which would then give them a better yield yeah and I was going to ask you what is the difference because people often sometimes um, uh, mistake the, 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 the difference between a call account yeah. and a money market okay. so a call account would be on balance sheet at a bank so when you actually go into the bank branch you place money would go onto the bank's balance sheet a money market fund would obviously place money off balance sheet via collective investment scheme which is a unit trust a okay. money market unit trust and what is an investor trying to achieve by investing in money market okay. so uh, obviously you know depending on your risk profile file, clearly the equity funds, there's, there's balance funds, there's property funds and, and bond and money market funds. So money market would probably be the lowest risk of all the different unit trusts you can get. It's a very big industry in South Africa, it's effectively 250 billion rand. If you look at globally, um, started in the US around about the 1970s, it's a couple of trillion dollars there. Europe, it's big, it's been around since the 80s and in South Africa started in the late 90s um, with various money market funds being launched then. And as I said, it's about 250 billion rand. And, and how has it performed? Well, it, it effectively, it's it outperformed inflation to some degree. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's not going to give the same return as, as NASPAS, as, as, <laughs> as Peter mentioned earlier. Yeah. I mean, these returns are excessive. So money market is the low risk side. So it's effectively trying to see how you can better a call account uh, yield. So a call account probably pays between 55 and 6%. Money market funds would yield around about the 6.5%. So slightly better yield. But for that, you're obviously spreading the risk between different institutions. Yeah. But also your durations is enhanced. What I mean by duration, effectively the money market manager can invest up to 13 months. Um, and obviously that gives you then the opportunity to go bet, get better yields. Okay. Yeah. And what's the underlying investment? Okay. Underlying investment depending on the money market fund. Um, if you look at the CISA rules, um, what, what, what happens there is that the typical uh, money market fund could invest up to 30% in the big banks. And then various degrees of a lesser amount in other institutions, be it the smaller banks. Yeah. But the big four generally make up up to 30%. You get more conservative money market funds where they're limited, where they can only go 25% because yeah. maybe it's a regulation 28 compliant fund from a, from a time point of view. Um, but yeah, it, the underlying investments are short dated. Uh, yielding instruments. And it's, it's quite liquid, you can take your money in and out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So money market funds, your liquidity is basically same day. Yeah. Um, through a list platform, it might take 24 hours, but generally speaking, if you're investing directly with a manka, it's, it's same day. I mean, one can then go a little step further and say, well, where do you go other than money market funds to maybe get a better yield? Yeah. So that would be in your sort of low income space where you'd have an enhanced income type fund where your duration would be extended further than a money market fund. As I said, a money market fund, you can invest, the investor can invest up to one year, yeah. i.e. the asset manager, yes. but there might be other instruments which are income funds, uh, sort of enhanced income funds, where the investor could go up to three years or five years. Okay. Um, but that mm. money would be available within, say, 48 hours versus, say, 24 in the money market Okay, and, and these income funds, how do they differ then? Yeah, sl slightly better yields, yeah. okay, but you've got to understand what you're getting yourself into yes. as well. So it's quite important to obviously seek financial advice, and I guess very importantly to make sure you know what you're investing in. So it's still up to the investors still to make sure that you know they are going into good quality sound investment yeah. strategies that the investment managers put in place. Yeah. So you know you, you get you get money market funds, you get income funds, and with income funds you can have various types of different asset classes. You can have preference shares, you understand mm. the risk of preference yeah. shares, you can have bond funds on uh, uh, sorry bond investments and we have to understand those risks as well. Now how how easy is it for someone to actually invest and what, what sort of costs are we looking okay. at? Okay, so money market funds generally, the costs are roughly 50 points per annum. That's for a retail investor. Clearly, larger sums attract better fees. Mm. But generally speaking, a retail investor will pay around about the 50 points plus that 57. Where your sort of enhanced money market type funds, income funds, you're probably paying sort of a little bit higher, up to 1%. 
So, oh. so it's, 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 and in your side, or do you actually do lump sum investments or do you phase in as well? Yes. That so, is the so that's also up to individual in terms of what you have as disposable income. You know, so for an investor starting to invest, might say, well, you know, I want to look at a money market fund just to get the feel. Clearly, I want to have some, um, some other investments, be it in equity. And that's why balance funds have become so attractive. You know, mm. if you go back, into sort of five, ten years ago, money market funds were the largest contributor to the unit trust industry. Yeah. Now balance funds have clearly become a lot bigger. Um, and money market funds only make up about 20% of the total sort of 1.4 trillion rand in South African, money market, uh, South African industry in, in unit trust. Ian, how do you pick? I mean, as you said, there's so many. Mm. Um, what, what's the process that it invests? Well, I mean, yields are very similar between different yeah. money market funds because you can only do so much. Yes. I mean, as I said, uh, a money market investor as an asset manager could only invest up to 13 months. And there are only so many institutions issuing or offering paper w within that scope. So, so the yields, you know, the top performing money market fund probably yields on a gross NSM basis, probably yields around about the 6.7, yeah. uh, and the lowest one probably yields around about 6.5. So, you know, so the margin so is just the, very the, small. It's very low. And I guess, you know, go to a financial advisor. I mean, clearly brand is quite important. You know, to look at the, 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 the bigger funds offer better liquidity. Yeah. Um, you're, you're not as, as, as locked up potentially. So I guess you must go what, what you feel is the best, which I guess which brand resonates with you. All right, we'll leave it there. Thanks for your time it's today. Ian Ferguson is with Net Group Investments.